we're going to discuss the anterior knee and the quadriceps and patella tendon. So start the quadrice quadriceps tendon is a common tendon, quite often has three layers. So we're going to start up, we're going to find our quadriceps muscle. So we have our rect fem muscle in the middle, vastus medialis, vastus lateralis and vastus intermedialis. So if we follow this down, we'll see our rect fem form its tendon. And if we follow that down, we'll see that rect fem tendon sitting over the top. Our vastus lateralis and medialis will form a common tendon underneath and our intermedialis will be our lower one. So we can see those three layers there. And they will come all the way down and come onto our patella. So our patella is a sesamoid bone and we'll see some of those fibres of our rec fem continuing up and over the patella to continue on as our patella tendon or infrapatella tendon. So our quadriceps tendon, uh, it's not an uncommon area to have a tendinosis. Uh, so we like to scan, it's quite a broad attachment so I want to be able to assess all the way out laterally and all the way medially. I want to assess that in transverse and longitudinal. So we can see those three layers. Just below is our quadriceps fat pad and prefemoral fat pad sitting down deep there. And we can just see a little bit of joint fluid sitting in our suprapatellar pouch. So as we continue down over our patella, we can see that continuation of the tendon. And then we come down and we're into our patella tendon. So at our proximal end is where we commonly see our jumper's knee. And as you can see, our, our patient has a little bit of hypoalcoic change to that deep portion of the uh, proximal patella tendon. And if we show that in transverse, we can see it's just mainly that central deep portion of the tendon and we get that classic bullseye sign. So this is just some really early tendinopathy, early jumper's knee. But we'll follow that down and through. We can see another broad tendon with broad attachment all the way down onto the tibial tuberosity there. So really nice back open to long. We can assess for any irregularity. This is obviously uh, in our children with our Osgood slasher. We will assess for that, comparing it to the other side. If we come back up and we can see our Kager's fat pad sitting deep. So when we see these jumpers knee, we're occasionally asked to inject. I like to come from a lateral approach. So we'll have it in short axis, patella, just coming off. So we've got that tendon change in view. And as you can see on the side there, we're at about you know, seven, eight mils down. So we just wanna start below and just have our insertion. And we wanna just go underneath that patella and just strip away that fat pad from the patella, that highly innovative fat pad, just strip that away from our patella tendon. Uh, other intervention we might want to do is we will sometimes be asked to inject the knee joint. So the suprapatellar pouch is an excellent spot to inject the knee joint, just under the quadriceps, especially when there's a large joint effusion. Uh, our patient here only has just a very small amount of joint fluid sitting over our femoral hyaline cartilage there. So uh, that limits our window here, but we would again we can see that that is just over a centimetre down. I want to just move my injection down a little and just slide in over that hyaline cartilage into that fluid that we can see there. Another option if we're limited with our amount of fluid there is to come down so we can see our patella and femur. And again, just falling into that little V shape left there. And what we want to feel is just a uh, lack of pressure. We don't want to see the injectate pulling. We want to know it's running away. So as we're pushing our plunger, the fluid is running away. And that's our anterior knee.